Hi everyone, this is Kind. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this like flapper meets drag meets Moulin Rouge look. I was inspired by this hair which I styled for a wig video. I had a request to do like um, those small little finger waves on short hair. Otherwise this is not a look that I would normally think to do so it's definitely outside of my comfort zone. Actually, you know what, looking at it in the mirror, this is totally something I would do. I mean, big lashes, black lips, curly hair, hookery clothes. This is just kind from another time period. Anyway, if you're here for the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started. So I'm doing this tutorial in voiceover form because I messed up the audio while I was recording this. But anyway, I'm starting off with my Sugar Pill Heartbreaker palette. I mix the blue and purple together and I'm just putting this in my eye socket. When I think of flopper makeup, I instantly think of like bluish purple eyeshadow, plum blush, and thin black eyebrows. Obviously, I'm going to do my own little twist on the style, but anyway, I tried to concentrate the eyeshadow in the upper corner to pull my eyes up and inward so they look almost droopy and sad, kind of like Betty Boop. Next, I did a really thick winged eyeliner, which is probably not that reminiscent of vintage makeup trends, but it's an online kind trend, so I'm doing it. In the open space that's left over, I carved out a crescent shape of a cut crease with some concealer, and then I filled it in with gold glitter from MAC. Which, quick tip, if you don't want the excess glitter to fall onto your face, you can just use a tissue to catch it. Some drag queens use like a veil of powder, but I find this is just easier. Then I took to the outer corner where the glitter and the purple eyeshadow and black eyeliner all meet, and then I smoked it out so that it's darkest on the outer half of the lid, and we just have this pop of brightness on the inner lid. On the lower lash line, I started out by smoking in some black eyeshadow right onto the lash line where I want it to be the darkest, and then I blended it downwards with some purple eyeshadow on a slightly larger brush. Like I said earlier, I want a kind of droopy eye, so I smoked the purple down a lot lower than I normally would because I want it to spill onto the cheek where I applied a deep plum colored blush. It's very 1920s, very pageant queen. I think it looks so good with a blonde vintage hair. Anyway, I went back up to the eyes afterwards and I put on white eyeliner in my waterline. And I just feel like I'm so used to this step now that I just think I look weird without it. This is my way of marrying together my makeup style with the shapes and silhouettes of yesteryear. And then I just put on my false lashes and that's the finished eye look. I was also really hesitant about doing the thin painted on black eyebrow because I already etched out my brow highlight. So I just did my normal drag brow using some brown eyeshadow. The last step now is the lips, and I went in with a black eyeliner to trace the shape of the lip, which features a really prominent cupid's bow as one of the big makeup trends of the era. And then I just filled it in with black lipstick, but eyeliner works just as well. That's the finished makeup look. I'm putting on the wig now that I styled in my last video, and I also felt it fitting to draw a beauty mark with some liquid eyeliner, but after that, I still felt that the look was missing a little something, so I put in some black flowers I had lying around. Just goes to show that sometimes hoarding all of my crafts really pays off. So this is the finished look, everyone. Again, if you want to see this tutorial on this hair, I talk all about it in a separate video, so you can check that out in the description. I'll also link all the products that I use down there. Um, well, not link, I'll list the products. Ain't nobody got time to find links. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at OnlineKind, where I'm going to be posting more pictures of me in this makeup look. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!